Today we're talking about Swarna. She's a 46-year-old Asian elephant. Swarna had difficult chewing up food the way uh, she should have been able to do. So you could tell that she had something going on with her teeth. We could see that Swarna's poop didn't have the fibers chewed up the way you would normally expect to see in, in elephant poop. And all that indicates that she has a dental issue of some sort. Elephants have four big molars, two on either side of their jaw that grind up the food. Because of the kinds of food that they eat, they wear those molars down. So elephants have adapted to, to go through multiple sets of those teeth throughout their life. They'll go through six sets of teeth. So the, the new tooth grows in and pushes out the old tooth and that repeats itself. What happened with Swarna was when her last set came in, it did not fully dislodge the previous set. And that's preventing her jaws from connecting properly and, and chewing the way she should have been able to chew. For an elephant, you can't really take them to the dentist. You have to bring the dentist and the dental office and all their equipment to the elephant. Because elephant dentistry is a pretty specific uh, topic and uh, in a rare skill set, we work with the Collier Institute. They are experts in elephant dentistry and they help consult us through this process and participate in the procedure on the, on the day we did it. In order to provide for everybody's safety and sworn of safety and guarantee that she were to lay down under anesthesia uh, in the position that we needed her, we determined as a team that the best way to do that was to train Swarna for a, a series of restraints that would help guide her into position. Because restraints aren't really a part of our elephant's everyday life here, it's something that has to be trained. That meant spending months of time building the rapport, getting her used to the various attachments that we would put on her, so that it was just a typical experience for her. She would come in, this is what we do, she's being fed the whole time with her favorite treats, and so that way we can provide the necessary restraint equipment in a way that was safe and not stressful for Swarna. Swarna was eager to participate. She was engaged in the whole process. She accepted the restraints like she has every day, allowed the vet to give her the injection without stress. And then with the use of the restraints, we were able to guide her down to the ground in the position we needed, all with fairly little fanfare. So we were thrilled. We were expecting hours. Luckily, we were able to get the tooth out, wrap up the procedure, and get her back on our feet far quicker than we had anticipated being able to do. All the training and planning paid off, and Swarna was a champ, and the procedure went as smoothly as possible. One of the cool things about this experience for me was the number of people that were involved in this procedure. We had vets, working with vet specialists, working with animal care teams, and with our nutrition department. And it was a huge group of people all working together to provide for Swarna's welfare and ultimately uh, have a successful outcome. Now she's back to normal, and we expect to see that her dental issue continue to improve. We'll see the real benefit of this procedure over the next several months. There are less than 50,000 Asian elephants left on Earth, and a significant portion of those elephants are living under human care. And we want to make sure that that part of the population, as well as those living in the wild, are living and thriving to the best of our ability. The more we're able to learn about how to care for elephants properly, the more we're able to ensure the survival of this species going forward.